Oh no! We gotta drive slow, cause there's some snow like douchebags. Welcome to Massholeville. Donuts. How come they're not taxing regular coffee that don't get donuts? 
That's got sugar in it. Oh, why? Why just candy bars? Huh? You know what? That's a that's a really excellent point, Bob. I mean, they should there should be an action. You know those uh, those drinks at Starbucks. My my kids go to Starbucks. And they're not going there because they like because uh, they like coffee. They're going there because they like sugar. Exactly. <laughs> All that stuff is just loaded with sugar. But yeah. they're using this candy bar thing as some kind of a ploy. You know, uh, I mean, it makes no sense. Yeah, no, you're you're right. I mean, if they, if they wanted to be if if they wanted to be consistent, they would have a you would this, have no tax you. on a on a cup of black nice. coffee at Dunkin' Donuts or at Starbucks. But if you had if you got one of those sugary drinks that have a tax on it, right? Of course, yeah, they want to keep sugar out of the uh, people's bodies. You right. Know. And what about if and, 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 and supposedly refined sugar is the stuff that's bad for you, right? Brown sugar is not so bad. So shouldn't there be a lower tax on any kind of beverage or candy that uses brown sugar as opposed to white refined sugar? Oh yeah, absolutely. Thanks for the call, Bob. 1-877-469-4322. 1-877-469-4322. They haven't had, they haven't had much luck in it. You know, uh, I think it was Patterson, David Patterson, who's no longer the governor of New York. A real screw up, like his predecessor Elliot Spitzer. But he, I think he was the first guy, the first governor that I know of, anyway, at least in the Northeast, who who tried to put this through. And uh, you know, the the, uh, the legislature in Albany like, balked at this. And uh, of course, you know, it was uh, you know a, a bad idea moves around uh, the world uh, in in, uh, in, in, a, in a nanosecond. Well, a good idea is still getting its pants on in the morning. And uh, so, of course, Deval Patrick picked up the idea. What a marvelous suggestion. You know, tax. Let's tax sugary drinks. I mean, and, and, and what about the fact? I, I thought uh, I thought some of these uh, sugar substitutes were supposed to be bad for you. I mean, what, when you come right down to it, what's worse for you? Uh, the sugar substitutes or the uh, or, or the white uh, refined sugar or the corn uh, corn sugar syrup, whatever they call it. Dave, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, Dave. Hey, Howie, you know, there's a few standard points here in having to deal with any of these sin taxes or indulgences, as the Church of England used to call them, okay? Yeah. And that is that government is what it is, is a, a necessary form of organized crime. It's the protection racket. And it's, uh, it's, if you give them anything, they're going to want more. Right. You, gotta, you, you know what I'm saying? It's like the gambling. I know. What's yours uh, is uh, what's, gambling what's ours is ours and what's yours is ours. That's their theory. Yeah. And it's like the uh, gambling. It's, it's the, or the casinos. Look at all the money we're going to get. Even but the reason they tax it in the first place uh, was to discourage gambling. Uh, yeah, right. Just like drinking, uh, alcohol. Uh, you, know, you look at the tax levies on all alcohol products and originally we thought it well this is going to discourage it you know that way people who really can't afford to be drunk won't be uh yeah that's worked out pretty well hasn't it no but the fcc the fcc just uh you know a few years ago maybe it's, a, it's longer than a few years ago but in the old days you couldn't advertise booze on tv and radio remember that and then, oh, yeah. well, they said yeah. they said you know the, the broadcaster said said, what's the difference between beer and wine and, and uh, distilled spirits? And the FCC said, you're right. So you can advertise. You can advertise booze now on, uh, on radio and TV. But now the the MBTA says, gee, it's, it's just a bad thing to advertise booze. Ooh. But Holly, that's a shakedown. You know that. Come on. Stop being playing the, you know, playing Jimmy the Dunce here to get people to call. You know it's a shakedown. They're going to still advertise. They just want to go. And they want to sell it to the public as being, well, this is for the public good. You know, we have to have high booze. We have to have gambling. We have to have scratch tickets. We, we took over all the jobs that the mob used to do. You know, the only thing left now is prostitution. You know, really, think about it. All the sin taxes are is just a way of taking over illegal activity, what used to be illegal activity, you know? And now the state runs the whole game. Well, we got to cut the back. I, know. Cut back, I know. know. I remember when they first, you know, the Catholic Church was fighting tooth and nail uh, against uh, against the state uh -huh. state lottery commission coming in. And you were, Dave, you sound like you're old enough to remember this too. They said, yeah, the what's the uh -huh. no, it's the, Yeah, it's for local aid. And we're gonna buy and fire and, 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 and build new schools. And uh -huh. by the way, it's it's only gonna be one drawing a week on Saturday night. Right. 